Daily Dose of Daryl entitled Start, The Importance of Good Start. Cora and Ronnie got married a long time ago when I was probably less than 10. And I knew that that piece of ivy, that was the only chance I had to get it. And so I started early thinking about people and how if I kept that in my Bible through the years, it might be important one day to someone else. If you're going to make a shake, you need to start early. I mean, all the way back to the grocery store, looking for good ingredients and making sure you start thinking about it early. And then the end result can be a great breakfast of a shake, orange tea and coffee. So one of the things that I wanted to mention in this daily dose is my experience in French one class in high school. We were in Alabama. The French teacher came in and we said, parlez-vous, Francis? <laughs> Well, of course, we weren't doing it exactly right, uh, mostly intentional. And of course, it's supposed to be, Parlez-vous français? Permettez-moi de vous présenter mon ami Jacques. But if you don't have a friend named Jacques, it's not going to do you much good. So, you have to have the right accent on the right syllable. And we're going to talk about that today. So here we go. Another thing I needed to mention about French one, uh, here's my running joke, okay? <laughs> Guess how I convinced the teacher to pass me in French one. I promised her I wouldn't take French two. <laughs> okay. So that French class was over 50 years ago in high school, and yet that early start helped on the world tour in France. New millennium, or new millennium, 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 new men, new. How you even pronounce English, you see, is important. Get a good start on the English language and learn how to pronounce them properly and look at them. I remember Coach Rosen at track practice. Of course, I was a thrower, but he pounded over and over in, into the head of the runners. Get a good start. If you start quick enough, you can win the race. And so that lesson has stood in my mind through the years. And I believe if we start each day with a good start, it will carry us through the day towards success. For instance, if you start with a positive mindset and a focus, and you know what you're learning about that day and thinking about, then as you walk through that day with eyes and ears open, you begin to see and hear things that you never saw and heard before. And it all begins with having a good, clear focus in the morning and, and a good idea of where you're going and, and what you're looking for each day. And as you do that, uh, things will be revealed to you like never before. It, it all boils down to a good start. And so I encourage you to make a list of the types of things that, that you're involved in and start looking at the things that you do each day, whether it's exercise or work or whatever it might be, and get in a good idea of what it is that you want to do so that before the nightfall comes and before the day is over, you will have already gained so much because you didn't wait until the last minute to start thinking about uh, your day and what it is that your focus was for the day. This Daily Dose of Daryl is simply to encourage each of us to do that. This great moon that we've been able to see uh, the past night or two is really great. But you had to really begin to prepare for that or you would miss it. I encourage you to ask yourself the question, what is it that I want to learn tomorrow? And go ahead and begin developing that tonight. So you'll be ready for the next day and with a focus. This is Daily Dose of Daryl. Start no matter the area of life. An important key to success is not how fast you are nor how skilled you are, but how good of a start you get. With a good enough start, I can still beat the world's fastest runner. Let me start soon enough. I encourage you to start each day with a positive mindset and focus on a particular theme for the day, keeping it in your mind with your eyes and ears open. And I believe something will be revealed to you like never before.